In the previous episode of GTCEFU I obtained LUV technology, and with LUV I would start working on fusion. But first I would need the dreaded assembly line because this pack doesn't have fuck you in its name for no reason. But at least the recipe for it wasn't so bad. Actually it would take the entire GDP of the United States to make. Because of that, I decided to procrastinate on it and instead build this cool trinium processing line to combine with Nakwada for Nakwada alloy which I would not need for the next a while. Because I was about to get into some serious multi-block territory I decided to make an IV wrench. This was followed by an epic realization that trenches only went up to HV. This is so sad. I then tried to make an LUV chemical reactor, but it required an LUV motor which meant that I now had absolutely no excuse to not make the assembly line. This was actually much easier than I expected and all I really had to do was encode a bunch of recipes and let the ME system do all the work for me. And after crafting a bunch of other blob I could get to setting up the assembly line. So that's what I did. To automate it, I would use an ME sub network paired with a chest buffer from Greg Tech. And so, I finally had the assembly line. I automated it by making an ME subnetwork that only had the storage buses as its storage and an interface that would have the stuff from the chest buffer transported into it through a conveyor belt. I also made Nakwata alloy so that's cool I guess. Then I made some ZPM circuits so that I could get the next tier of the circuit assembler for lots of gaming. Unfortunately the recipes for LUV machines required more input buses than I had so I had to expand my assembly line once more. Which I did. And a bunch of boring recipe encoding later I have acquired the circuit assembler. And with that, it was time to work on the next major scientific breakthrough, a Mark I fusion reactor. But I was about to have a thermonuclear missile of a material cost thrown at me. The recipe for it required UHPIC wafers as well as superconducting coil blocks. While the UHPIC wafers were not quite bad to get, superconducting coils were the real issue, requiring 24 trinium each. To add insult to injury, the craft for fusion machine casing required these coils, meaning it would take literal hundreds of trinium. This was so sad. However, that one trinium line I made in the beginning has already produced a bunch of trinium, enough for a fusion reactor. I could also heavily cut down on the resource cost by utilizing fusion glass in certain parts of the reactor. Going forward I would need a ton of Nakwada so I decided that I might as well automate it. The fusion reactor would be used for making helium plasma so that I could finally solve all my energy issues, but it would require relocating my turbine. So to avoid a power outage I would construct a gargantuan flux storage, which could store 500 million EU. And after a ton of pain and suffering I finally had everything that I needed for the fusion reactor. And so, it was time to make it.
but that was merely the beginning, I would still need to wait for like 15 hours to make the coils. Even though I said that the trinium line made enough trinium, I lied. It was nowhere close to enough trinium, beyond that it would take 50 years to melt the trinium into its fluid form for the coils. However I pulled through and it was time to construct the fusion reactor. Wow I sure do hope that after having spent 8 grugillion years assembling this reactor it forms. So it turns out I did not build it correctly, and I would spend in the next irrational quantity of time on figuring out what went wrong. Eventually I figured it out, and just look at these beautiful animations. And now the only thing left to do was to relocate my energy generator next to the reactor for all the energy I will ever need. And now I had energy, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if I will keep making videos on this pack as I cannot be bothered to deal with sterilized growth medium, but don't forget to Greg and Greg scribe. I linked the discord server where you can get this pack in the description.